So one of the things in doing the plum branch that people often ask about is the angle of the brush. So I'm going to start here with a, a very wide sort of trunk. You can see I'm just scraping along. My brush is pretty much flat on the canvas right now, or flat on the paper. And then if I want to decrease the thickness, I'm going to raise the angle. And this helps to get a little bit more narrow. I'm just going to add a little bit more ink to my brush now. You can see it's a little darker. So here, again, continuing on. And then to narrow the branch even further, I can come up onto the point of the brush and continue again up on the point of the brush so my brush is completely up on an angle. I'm also twirling the brush around and so part of this is that as you're doing the plum you see I'm twisting it around I'm looking at the paper and saying what does what does the trail of my branches look like? Is it something I like? Do I want to widen it here because my, bran my branch or my brush is split in half to give the effect of a wide brush, or I'm not sure I like that. It's too um, sort of too mechanical looking. So I'm going to twirl that closed so that my brush is now just in a point. So always the main point about looking at your brush is look at the paper. What is happening on the paper with the trail that is being left by your brush? And that'll help you determine how you're going to move and rotate your brush around. Now with the, um, the, the branch, let's say we decide, well actually this is a little bit narrower than I'd like. I'd like to widen it. Well go ahead. You can simply rotate your brush in the opposite direction and go in and widen and create almost the, the double thickness of the brush, of the, the initial branch or what have you. So do you really get that sense? And then this is completely fine because you get this gradation in the center. Later on, you can come along and you can add some of these ridges. Notice that the shape of the brush is kind of broken up. And I'm going to pull along sideways here to create a feeling of roundness. You can do this when, you're, uh, when your painting is a little bit drier than it is here in order to really see the lines a little bit more effectively or you can do it when it's wet. So really the main point about that is just to review starting off flat and you can see that I'm holding my, my, my brush like I would with bamboo holding it straight and flat and then increasing the angle as I want the branch to get thinner until I get to a point where I want a little branch, in which case I come up here on the tip or the point of my brush. And really while you're doing this, you can spend quite a long time, watch how my brush just sits here and pools. This is going to increase the darkness um, of those different sections. So don't feel like you have to have a steady or an even pace. If you're finding that you feel like you're running out of ink, slow the pace down. Simply sit on the paper or on the silk or whatever it is you're working on and watch how the brush gives you much more in terms of um, ink than you think you have.